You are watching Stripped Out, Saskatchewan's only award-winning one-hour local music showcase. The show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. we got a huge show tonight. Put the women and kids to bed. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Stripped Out, it's the Quitters Club. You are watching Strip Down, the Quitters Club in the Shaw TV studio tonight. We're spending 60 minutes with the Quitters Club. I love saying the Quitters Club. It sounds so defeated. What's up with the band name? Can't Come on. Gave up. Uh, <laughs> I think the band name was initially just a way of holding no boundaries to a certain genre because all of our songs are different. They, I don't know, they don't necessarily follow a particular formula and we just play what we come play up with. Play what we like. Play what's fun. So you quit the formula? Is that what you're quitting? Formula. Quit the... Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't need to put us on a record for quitting a formula, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you quit it while reinventing the formula. Awesome, welcome to Shaw TV, you guys. Welcome Thanks to Stripped Out. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Awesome. How Good long day. has this uh, episode been in the works? I I've lost track. There's nice. been so many musical resumes that have come across the desk, and, you know, last week we had a person that said, oh yeah, we've been talking for two years. I was like, I did not know that. <laughs> uh, probably August of 2010 is when we began. Okay. And we started... Uh, Going. It's been about a month or so. This has been in the works for ah, this thing. So right on. You, you, you snuck in, and there's a quite a quite a lengthy waiting list here on Strip Down. But good. I like the sound. How would you describe your sound? Happy. Happy. <laughs> fun times. Fun. Anything fun. that Pretty feels much. good. Stinky. Yeah. Meant for a basement. <laughs> <laughs> Meant for a basement. <laughs> that being said, well, where do you play? Do you play mostly in Saskatoon, or? Yeah, we've pretty much only played Saskatoon. We've only been around for about a year. When we first started, we uh, kind of made a pact to practice all winter and start for the summer. So we've actually only been playing shows. This will be our first full year actually playing shows. And yeah, we definitely hibernated for about, I don't know. Six months, seven months maybe. Something like that. And then we decided yeah. it was time to get out and play once we're we were still a baby. good to go. That's how you do it on the prairies though, for sure. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So those long, dark winter months in Saskatchewan, what did, what did you see? Was that your time to gel as a band? 
any crazy stories come out of that? You just kind of locked yourself in the room and you pretty much you yeah. laughed and cried and you, you grew together. We spent a good six months just locked in the basement there, writing songs, practicing. Spending about half the time making stupid videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Videos. yeah. definitely. Yeah. Where are these videos available? Were they ever posted or? Uh, a couple of nonsense is on YouTube, but uh, it's just good times, guys, having fun. And is it like how to make a band? Is that what the videos are? No, it's not <laughs> No, it's about drinking beer and yelling at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Five guys from Saskatoon, one goal. <laughs> This is the Quitters Club, day one. <laughs> Pretty no? much, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it a lot of like musical stuff, or are you guys again just drinking, just and messing fun? around? We, yep. There's we some really... musical stuff, but yeah. yeah. So the recording process of the demo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I like the setup. I like the lineup. I want to, you know, peel back the layers and exactly dissect how this band came to be. But we got 60 minutes to fill. So let's start off with the first song. What was that? Uh, song, song seven. Song seven. <laughs> song seven. Yeah, we, we tend yeah. to we don't name our songs. We uh, they're in the order they came. We've yep. just on, been on a really good binge of practicing and using. Hey, we're doing the set one, two, three, four, five, and it's kind of stuck with it, and it's funny. And there was no and discussion in the car on the way up or anything. Hey, we, we should uh, name some songs. <laughs> a little no. bit. But look, it's putting smiles on every guy's face. <laughs> it is. It it's, sounds it's, pretty stupid. And I like it. No, we like I, I it. like Why it. Why not? There, there is no such thing as stupidity on the stripped down stage. That went away in like the first season. We don't we don't even use that word anymore. It's all gold here. So they're, all your songs are just numbers so yeah. far. Yes. Do they have meaning though? The songs? Like you said that was what, number seven? Yes. So is, we is play it about, them so much, right? When you hear the number, you know what it is and right away you're just like, yes, it's that number. Yeah. Yep. It doesn't is, make sense, but to us it does. Is it about the number seven? Um, there's, no? there's nothing no. to do with the number seven. Okay, what does it have to do with then? Maybe multiples of seven, but not the number Ooh. seven. Again, I'm bad with math, so <laughs> what was the song about? What was Seven about? I don't about? know, I, I think that one's more of like a surreal, like, banger party song. One of our faster songs. Most of our songs are fast, but it's just all about good times. What's it about? That's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a banger song about good times. Full bangs. Yeah. Full bangs. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's keep going. Again, I don't want to go too heavy on the talking, so I want to make sure you get all your music in, so... Can I, do we roll the dice to see what song's next? We should have done guess. that. No. Guess what number we're playing next. I'm going to go, it's going to make sense. Two? Nope. No. no. Very close. I blew it. Very close. Song one. Yeah. Song one. Yeah, okay, one. so here's the second song from Quitter's Club. Song one. Played second. <laughs> My nose is bleeding. Ladies and gentlemen, the Quitter's Club. <laughs>
You are watching Stripped Down with the Quitters Club. It has been Let's a while since we've <laughs> had an all-out rock Thanks. bad here on Stripped Down. That's oh what I love God. about doing about, That's what I love about doing the show each and every week, other than the fact that I can't talk sometimes. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Patent. I just made that up right now. Uh, of all the bands we've had on, I don't think we've ever had a band that was endorsed by Craig Sufflin, the movie geek. <laughs> Look at that. First thing, first thing on the website. The Quitters Club is a post-punk pop powerhouse. Is that real or did you just make that up? Well, um, no, we didn't we make it up. It was, uh, it was a quote he had about us in Planet S. Yeah. Uh, probably. You guys started laughing. I was like, oh, maybe this was just made up. But no, yeah. Craig, <laughs> Craig the Movie Geek, Planet S Magazine. Yeah. Good dude. Great the dude. music critic. Post-punk pop powerhouse. Craig, coming at you with the alliteration. He's like the Ayatollah of amazing alliteration. See what I did there? <laughs> Good job. Guess yeah. the, I guess that's what those writers do. I thought that was going to get a bigger reaction than that. But yeah, so uh, thing, thing came out to you, about you guys in Planet S. How long ago was that? Uh, a year ago, probably now. Yeah. Um, I think we were playing with another Saskatoon band, Lady Deathstrike. I think it was prior to that show. And Craig mm. came out and. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he was there. I don't, like, I don't know if that was from Listen to Our Demo. I can't remember what the context was. but well, That's pretty good. Again, we've been doing this show for five seasons. I've never seen Craig back a band before, so there you go. There you go. Thanks, Craig. Yeah, Thanks, there Craig. it is. Thanks, All Craig. right. Craig. Thanks, Craig. We'll buy we you have beer. to gear up for our first commercial break. <laughs> but we got lots more with the Quitters Club coming up right after this. <laughs> Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McQuaid, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509 or online at long-mcquade.com. Altimo Euromoto. <music> 204 3rd Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, 664-6640. <laughs> from one of two sources, groundwater or surface water. Surface water often begins as snowfall that accumulates in the winter and melts into our rivers and lakes. Cities will treat it to get rid of most of the impurities and then send it down the pipes, under the streets and into our homes. The problem is, the quality of water is being damaged by our activities and as our earth warms up, there may be less water available in the future. How can we look after our water resources? Find out where your water comes from and how it is being protected. Use less when you're showering, brushing your teeth, or watering your lawn. And never pour toxins like cleaning solutions down a toilet, sink, or storm drain as it ends up in our rivers and lakes. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Watching Strip Down, we are spending 60 minutes with the Quitters Club. You guys all from Saskatoon, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Saskatoon band, pretty yep. much. Yep. Let's yep. get to the origins of you guys. You don't play an instrument, just sing. Yep. Okay. Ex bass player. Ex bass player. I used to play in a band with Adam 
Um, I actually used to play with a band with Corey, two different bands. Okay. Uh, years ago. So it's like a collaboration. It's like a super group from former bands. Yeah, super group. Okay. <laughs> I want to hear the story. I Take think, me uh, back. Me and Adam lived together. Hey, we've lived together for about what four years now. About okay. Yeah. Common law. And I think the three <laughs> of you, Corey, Clint, and Adam, started off. Uh, you guys were starting a project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of the guitar players. Yeah, there was a guitar up. player who said he was, you know, he fairly, was in. He said he was fairly forward on showing up, and he backed out. I ran into the house and I said, hey, Joel, you want to play in a band? He says, sure. And it just kind of happened. Ran yeah. out and started. It's a beautiful thing. Just play your guitar the weird way. Yeah, play it backwards. Wrong way. <laughs> I'll never Wrong get that. Way. I'll learn one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is serious though for you guys. Like you said, you locked yourselves in the basement for the winter. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, we got together. Yeah, we got some good writing done. Songs are here and now, so. So was it one person going off on his own writing and brings it back and then you kind of filled around it, or was it just like jam after jam that turned into songs? I think maybe a mix of both. Definitely. I know Adam both. had a couple pre-written songs that we kind of threw on top. Okay. Um, and then, you know, it kind of evolves from there. We all yeah. throw our own mix into the bag. Where, where does this sound come from? It's, it's got kind of an old-timey rock sound. When old-timey, I mean old-timey by my standards. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I'm caught in 2003. Yeah. <laughs> kind of music writing style. It's just... So I've been writing all my life, essentially, so now it's got a chance to play with some lovely, lovely men here, and it's sounding... So did you guys jump on his style, or was it all kind of a mutual, you all said that is the sound we a bit of, in the Quitters Club? I think maybe a little bit of both. Okay. Um, <laughs> we start off with the riffs, and then, you know, everyone throws their own little personal self on top of it. And we all love the exact same kind of music. Yeah, right? that's Different true. Different genres, so... We're pretty much up for playing anything, but right now this is what's floating our boat, so... Yeah. Okay, before we get to the next song, which is technically song number three, probably not actually song number three because your songs are just numbers, give me the best moment and the worst moment of being locked in the basement together mm. making songs. Clint's feet! Clint's oh. feet's the oh, worst. Clint's feet. <laughs> oh, the worst. Oh, my feet have been bad lately. The worst. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. So, I'm really unfortunate. The best is when Clint doesn't show up and there's no Clint's feet. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that's the worst then? <laughs> yes. Clint's feet, officially the worst part of of hammering out music. What's yeah. the best part? Corey's beard. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not necessarily full right now, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, God, put me on the spot. Summertime. It's too hot. I'm hot enough right here right now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. Right before we took uh, our first commercial break, you played song number one. Yeah. Do you want to break that one down? Was that about anything special? I think that was the first Quitters Club song ever. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, that's first that was the first one we've ever wrote. Yeah, it's like, written. I guess the thing with our songs, because we all kind of toss it in there, it probably means different things to different people. Like, Adam came with that basically as a full song. And then I wrote the lyrics for it. And <clears throat> it's, I don't know, it's kind of like about, I don't know, I guess a little bit of a split personality or um, kind of thing going on. But to him, it probably doesn't mean anything to do with that. Okay. <laughs> Came out of my soul. Reminds <laughs> me of the basement. Yeah, the a old lot basement. of these songs probably remind you guys of the basement. So. <laughs> Sounds like it was a, a unique Couple bonding basements. experience. Where do we go? Can I take a guess? Song yep. seven done. Song one done. Mm -hmm. Is it song three? Does it finally line up? Is it ever going to line up? No. No. Where do we go next? I'm I'm crossing them off as we go. It's just going to get easier for me to guess. Song two. Song two. Song yeah. Two. Song two. Song two, boys. Is it going to go in order from here on in? You just threw seven first. You Maybe. I feel like I'm in Sesame Street. Hmm? It's like this Someone episode of the Strip Down was brought yeah, to you by the number 7, 1, and 2. Uh, uh, but it uh, was uh, sure uh. not brought to you by the letter Z, because no one's sleeping. Because this is freaking rocking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> or what? Take it away, Quitters uh -huh. Club!
We are spending 60 minutes with the Quitters Club. Any uh, any chance of dissecting that last song, song number two, which was the third song you played tonight? Um, That's yeah, the and uh, yeah, it's the single. That's the single. Um, we uh, we recorded that one. You can download it on our website, thequittersclub.com. Okay. And uh, or iTunes. Yeah, or iTunes if you want to give us money for it. <laughs> Both. Work. Either or. Just throw it yeah. Out there. Yeah. <coughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> tasty. You would, uh, I don't know, have to listen to it. Make okay. what you want of it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like an open palette. Mm -hmm. You can uh, make your own. Okay, let's jump into uh, your other quote. is from Mitch from Volcano Wilson, Canada. It doesn't seem like somebody who would be a fan just by judging his style of music. So what's the connection there? How do you guys know Mitch? Well, I've known Mitch for, I don't know, a few years playing music here and there, but he originally started into punk rock. Things like that, listening to bands like Choke and <laughs> What? Mitch? Yeah, absolutely. Mitch. Yeah, he That is, is awesome. I didn't know that. He's one heck of a punk drummer. Um, he's multi talented. He's a great man. Great I did musician. not know that. Absolutely. So how did how did Mitch not be in this band then? This seems like from everything you told me that Mitch should just He was tied up with Vic. So yeah? Yeah. Just super busy with that project and never really had any time to he and I tried jamming a few years back and nothing really came from it, just having fun jamming, etc. But Never really thought to make a permanent project or anything like that, so. You, sir, have blown my mind. Well, I would have not guessed permanent. that. If I would have made a list of people who were secret punk rockers, he wouldn't even have made that list. Yeah, he's a, uh, <laughs> definitely a secret punk rocker. He's an interesting guy. I love Mitch to death. Uh, okay, again, I don't want to go too heavy on the talking, so let's jump into another song. And then coming out of that song, we will update the contest. I know you guys all want to know what the contest is. And we will somehow, even though he doesn't have a mic, talk to our audio engineer for this week. So where do we go next? I'm not even going to guess. Song number what? It's, it's song number four, but it's actually song number three. 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 See, now it is going over. <coughs> yeah, you might even be able to guess the next one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's song number three about? Do you want to talk about uh, it before we play? Um, sure. Yeah, that's... Uh, Adam named that one the big slice. The, the, big, sto the, story, the, the song. story song. And it's just kind of like a story, the whole thing. And it's... It's a big slice of a story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. The words are kind of about like lock up your stuff or I'm going to steal it. Nice. So. <laughs> okay. The kleptomania song. I yeah. guess so. I can't wait to hear it. Take it away. The Quitters Club. We'll be 
Yeah! I like the high energy when you guys finish your songs. We are spending 60 minutes with the Quitters Club, but it's the time of the week to update the contest. And whenever we do that, the first thing we do is we talk to this week's audio engineer. And returning for his third or fourth week doing one heck of a job, it's Alex. Yeah. Absolutely. It's the stoosh. Alex. Okay, we're going to do this. He doesn't have a mic because... Uh, we kind of ran out of mics, and I kind of made my own little quitters club, and I just decided I didn't want to run a really long XLR, but check it out. I'm going to come. We're going to do this. I'm not talking, to talking to my chest, young Alex. Okay. How's it going this week? Good. Wow, yeah. that was unnecessarily close. <laughs> Given the viewers what they want, I don't know if we got that or not. Okay, <laughs> you're doing a heck of a job. It's sounding great. Are, are you ready to officially sign on? I should have brought, like, a contract. Ooh. Are you going to sign on for Season 6 to be our, our uh, official audio engineer? What yeah. do you think? Should we start an Alex chat? I don't know. What do you think? You're gonna do it officially yeah, right now. I might go on tour at some point, so I'll have to book that off with you. But yes, be because long. you're in your <laughs> own band, yeah. which is weeks away from taking the strip down stage itself. Everything is quieting together. But again, we really appreciate you and your talents. The show has been sounding great the last few weeks, and we shouldn't waste any more time. What's the time for, Alex? What's the time for? The contest. Now, Alex, what do you know about the world wrestling entertainment? Nothing. What do you know about the WWF from the 80s? Nothing. Does the words Jake the Snake Roberts mean anything to you? No. Oh, <laughs> oh you're killing me here. <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts was a wrestler from the 80s. He went on to do great things like stay alive. Anyways, <laughs> I had the chance to meet Jake the Snake himself a few really? weeks back at the Calgary Entertainment or Cal it's the Calgary Comic Con, the Comic and Entertainment Expo. Anyways, we have footage of Jake the Snake signing something for the contest. Roll clip! Alright fans, we are here in Calgary with Jake the Snake Roberts. It is time to update the contest. Check it out. A signed Jake the Snake Roberts. Thoughts, you can terrify your children. Give them this, that'll do it. The bedwetting will never end. That's going into the basket right now. How limited edition is that? It's the Jake a Roberts basket sign. case. I like that. See, this guy's making his own jokes. Jake the Snake Roberts signed, autographed. Enter. It'll put you through college. It will. Yeah. Is it worth a lot of money on the secondary market? Yeah, by God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. There it is, Stoosh. An official signed. Jake the Snake Roberts action figure. It's signed. It's going to be a collector's item. I want to say really soon. <laughs> Don't read between the lines too much on that. How do you enter the contest? You go to the Strip Down Facebook page. Go to the photo section until you see the contest. Then uh, check out the 15 JPEGs we have posted and vote on which you think is the most iconic JPEG in Strip Down history so far. And you can win all sorts of stuff. We've got it all display here on the Strip Down Museum. There's signed trophies. There's a pair of headphones. There's a copy of... Uh, Episode 100 with NLX, there's a Gutter Dog t-shirt, there's a uh, Spider G t-shirt, <laughs> there's a signed uh, Sons of Anarchy t-shirt signed by Kim Coates, the guy that plays Tiggs, there's a, a signed Jason Mass, there's a bunch of Shaw swag, the O. Wells from Vancouver signed a t-shirt, there's dolls and CDs and Jason bobbleheads and aquariums, and there's a hundred bucks and a free pizza. Just something <laughs> for everyone. What do you think, should we throw it a commercial break? Yes. Go for it. What do I say? I don't know. It's up to you. Just go to commercial break. <laughs> Coming back with the Quitters Club after this. <laughs> this is really awkward, Curtis. <laughs> natural things on Earth and how they interact is biodiversity. From the microscopic to the mighty. From the smallest body of water to the coldest. From underground to the highest ground. When biodiversity is rich, we can count on the natural world to produce the oxygen we breathe, filter and purify the water we drink, and grow the plants we rely on for food and medicine. Due to human activities, biodiversity is being lost faster than nature can replenish it. So let's do what we can to help preserve biodiversity. Create natural spaces and plant native species. Take part in a wildlife survey. 
Get out and experience Canada's amazing variety of wildlife. And that's just a start. To learn more about biodiversity and how you can help protect it, visit hww.ca. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWave, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509 or online at long-mcquade.com. Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, six six four sixty six forty. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of Fifty First and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon, nine seven five zero three four five. Ladies and gentlemen, the Quitters Club. Spending 60 minutes with Saskatoon Zone, The Quitters <laughs> Club. That song was awesome, you guys. Don't that was one of my favorite songs so far. And that was song four or five? Song, song four. four. That's four. Song You're four. I'm, I'm catching on. What's song four about? Um, Other than just rocking the place down to its core. That's what I got out of it. <laughs> it's about kind of like be ready for anything. Like the hook is when I opened my eyes, like a car crash, life hit back. Did so, you write that? Yeah. Nice. Well done. No, that was a solid song. I forgot to point out, song two is already taken by Blur. You guys are going to get sued oh, on right, that. Oh, yeah. Song two, Blur. Got to watch it. that. Got to yeah, be us. Uh, spell it song and then T-W-O. 
Ooh. Or 2.1. And uh, just to clarify from earlier, I'm not going to steal anything. I write stories, not uh, not necessarily about myself. So, oh, okay. It's, like, it's, they're, they're fictitious. So, yeah, I might not take any of this stuff. Oh, you might. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> the night's young. I uh, really like your origins. The fact that you guys just wanted to be a band, locked yourselves in the uh, basement over winter. It's such a, such a Saskatchewan story. <clears throat> True story, Ryan Bolt, lead singer of the Deep Dark Woods, doing really well touring the world, did that. He wanted to teach himself to sing. So he <coughs> house and fix her upper, and he just renovated for like a year while he taught himself to sing. Brilliant. Same thing uh, with Green Bottle Street, Jesse Selkirk did pretty much the same thing. Bought a, bought a house to fix up and practice while he's doing that. And, and uh, even like Earl Pereira from uh, The Steadies. Oh. He doesn't want to tour during uh, winter, so they just started their own like home recording studio. And I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll play reggae in the summer. No one wants to listen to reggae in the winter, right? It's too cold. It's too cold. Too cold for reggae. Hey, man, pass me another Afghan. <laughs> 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 what I figure it sounds like, anyways. Okay, uh, again, I don't want to go heavy on the talking time, but what's the future of Quitters Club? You guys are polished. You guys got songs. You got seven finished tracks what's next record probably yeah, yeah we got a single out now with two songs and we're probably going to be recording with ryan anderson again come yes. up so he's a good gentleman yeah very okay. fantastic he recorded our first one okay our single so we sound better than we are and the single again is available on itunes you can go to quittersclub.com okay and you can get uh pretty much everything there Club.com. Yeah, that links to the Facebook, the Twitter, the Twitbird. Now, when you say everything, do you mean all the information about you guys or all the songs? Uh, it has uh, pretty much links to all the social media sites, okay. which in turn has all the bios, all the band members, all that good stuff. So if entire families have, have gotten off the couch tonight and, you know, done some done some thrash dancing or whatever the kids call it these days, <laughs> furniture has been overturned, turned into a big mosh pit, how can they get their hands on all your songs? Is it even possible yet? Yeah, if you got an iPhone, iTunes. Yeah, and they're all available. All available on iTunes. Okay. Wow. And you can download them for free at quittersclub.com too. Okay. So is there another batch of songs that are about to be recorded and unleashed or? A couple in the works, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thoughts on the uh, progression, the next step? What is next? Um, I Just think keep writing. Write yeah, more, maybe writing. a few Getting tour better. dates. Winter's coming up here, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Winter, it's not even got, summer yet. Got three weeks left of summer. That's just depressing. Can't wait for winter. You gotta go back to three weeks. You guys, uh, so you got a uh, big show coming up in June? Yeah, June 8th. Uh, I think it's June 9th. June 9th. June 8th or 9th, check the website. Yeah, yep. that's right. And where are you playing? Uh, I believe it'll be uh, Lay Relay with a band called... Everyone Everywhere. Everyone Everywhere, thank that's you. Right. Uh, local band decisions made, and that's all I know of so far. Is that like going to be the Quitters Club moment? I. You guys going like, to yes. explode Absolutely. onto yeah, the scene. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> be Everyone's going to be like, I saw those guys on Strip Down. They rock. We'll I'm have gonna a get moment. Up and dance. Big moment. Big moment? Big moment. Okay. Where do you see yourselves in a year from now? In the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. All right. Song five, I'm guessing. Nailed it. Yeah. Good guess. You're good. Yeah, I got it. Well done. You guys couldn't have just started with song one, hey? You had to start nope. with seven and then go. Oh, you're just messing me up. Why okay. wouldn't we? What's song five called? Um, emergency call. Emergency call. Yeah, when it's recorded, but it's just song five to us. Okay. <laughs> Take it away with song five.
You are watching Strip Down with the Quitter Squad. <laughs> Before we take our last commercial break, we gotta talk about this. Beautiful! Now, you may think I am supporting a local hockey club, and while I do support a local hockey club, not in this shirt I don't. <laughs> this is an actual official Quitters Club t-shirt, and it is officially the fav my favorite shirt I own right now. Is there a story behind this? Hoggy! Hockey! <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm outside the inside joke. No, um... You are the inside wearing joke. <laughs> you wanted to prove you're local. We're local. Okay. Go Steven, go Prairies. Well, there's, there's so a lot sure. of So it's a, it's a homage? There's a lot of bands that do uh, parody logos, like the Flatliners use the Toronto Blue Jays logo, the uh, Comeback Kid uses the Winnipeg Jets logo, uh, Misery Signals uses the Edmonton Oilers logo, and so we figured we take it one step further, go local, and there it is. That's awesome. That's a really good story, a really good idea. I love it. Are these available to purchase? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, come on down to a show and pick one up. Yeah, or, or send us an email. Yeah. We'll, we'll hook you off. up. I have to point out, they're actually <laughs> ridiculously good quality shirts. Usually band get like the... We spent the big bucks. 20, yeah. 20 for, uh, you know, 12 bucks. We care about our fans. Undershirts. And just do the press. Just feel that oh, hard press. Just rub your fingers along it. Hard press in Saskatoon, they... Uh, they took care of us real good. <laughs> they cut away from cameras, so that's good. They saw where I was going with that. We have to take our last commercial break, but I'm going to keep feeling this shirt, and we will uh, wrap things up with the Quitters Club coming up right after this. Oh, you can go. Go for it. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWave, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509 or online at long mcquadecom Altimo Euromoto. <music> 204 3rd Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, 664-6640. Memories we cherish, moments captured in time. This is Matthew Halton of the CBC. Hello, Canada and hockey fans in the United States. Arthur Peterson is a specialist of the music popular. Le hockey des Canadiens. You know, I heard they were taking on guys to the cannery next week. Just when we leave. Do you remember?
remember? How could we forget? And all Paul Russell. But you know? Our mum got a seize to keep us from biting our toenails, eh? Mr. Levesque, have you become a simple? No. Canada's recorded treasures help keep them alive. Ladies and gentlemen, the Quitters Club. things up with Saskatoon's own The Quitters Club. How can people join the club? See what I did there? So you could go online, get more information about you. Where do we, they go? We get, we get really excited about Facebook likes. Oh, yes? Really, really excited. Yeah. You can always use more, right? You get to see that number go up. It's a thrilling moment. Yeah, I wouldn't know, but I'll <laughs> take your word for it. <laughs> so find Quitters Club on Facebook. Make sure you like it. Yeah. That's, that's the uh, Or Twitter. Or That's Twitter. a number two. Okay. You got followers. Yeah. <laughs> so if social media was numbers like your songs, Facebook would be one and Twitter would be number two? Could sure. Be seven then one. <laughs> well, we seven already got, we're already up, to, well, we got seven right now, so they could be, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11. Awesome. I've lost track of what we're even talking about. Yeah, but did you guys have fun tonight? Awesome. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. The stripped Great down time. experience was everything you thought it would be more. There was clapping. Look at that. The band's clapping for themselves. Did you have fun? I had such a good time. Yeah, Honestly, 
on behalf of the crew, which changed over from when we started in September to now, this has been the best season we've ever done. Well, right on. Well, glad to be part of it. And yeah. and we've had some heavy hitters in past seasons. Like, we've gone out to Crystal Lake, Saskatchewan. <laughs> we've done Halloween from there, you know. We ta we took uh, Ryan wow. Bolt from the Deep Dark Woods into the Deep Dark Woods to play a show. But I would have to say season oh, six, or season five, <laughs> is the best. So thank you for being part of it. Thank you. Thank so you. again, for all uh, Quitters Club information, Facebook's the best way? Yeah, or the quittersclub.com works. Quittersclub.com. You can get these sweet, sweet shirts. And uh, look for you guys playing in summer, but the next one is June eighth or ninth. We were debating that ninth. Yes. I believe it's the ninth. At Show up both nights. Lay over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're not there the first night, just start chatting. Just Quitters Club. We'll sell It'll you a be shirt a long both 24 nights. hours, but man, you will be excited when you guys finally take the stage a day later. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. <laughs> I gotta say goodbye uh, and thanks to tonight's cast and crew. Thanks to our sponsors, Ultimo Uramoto. I'm no longer wearing Ultimo Uramoto shirt. This is a Quitters Club t-shirt. Mr. Sicily Pizza and, of course, Long and McQuaid. For all things stripped down, go to our Facebook. And, yeah, we like likes, too. We like to see them rock it up and count. It can be like a race between Quitters Club and stripped down, although I don't want to make that an official race. Uh, yeah, make sure you uh, vote on the contest, and you can win a signed Jake the Snake action figure. But what I remember most about tonight was longingly staring into Stoosh's eyes. It was such a highlight. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time tonight, the Quitters Club. Thank you, guys.